This is the uh, exploded view of uh, the new Breon Vega TS-522 AM FM radio. And it's exploded view. And it may be literal, too, because I'm going to take an M80 and blow it up if it doesn't start cooperating. This has a very unusual problem. And I hate to think that a radio that sells for $350 is inherently bad. What's happening is, is I'm going to turn it up so you can hear it. It's picking up digital noise. Now listen to it. This is on FM. Now, when I tune it, watch what happens. You hear it? It even picks up the... Uh, noise when you push the program to store a station. There's something very wrong here. It's not even good. Well, even on the lo most local station, it doesn't pick up right. This uses the Philips I2C bus system. Uh, the, the AM FM front end I see is the TEA 5757, very popular chip. Philips Magnavox uses it. This is made in Italy, by the way. It's got a really tool, cool tuning uh, half moon that shows through the front panel here. This is a remake of the old classic 60s Breon Vega radio and uh, has quite a following, but. Uh, the AM is just as bad as the FM as far as picking up that digital noise from the radio. And no idea why. When I got this originally, the output IC was blown. And it was blown because of that noise. It was up too high and that noise wiped it out. Replacing the IC got the speaker to work again. However, even through headphones, it's picking up that digital noise. And I'm at a loss. Hopefully, I can send this video to Breon Vega and they can give me a clue as to what's wrong with it. We'll find out.